Hi Libras, it is the Sun Sage and thank you so much for tuning into your love update where I am taking a look at the energies in your love life to get a feel for what's going on for you guys. So this will be for Libra placements, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, any other Libra placements in your chart that may resonate for you. And this can also resonate for cross watchers um, in the reverse. So if you're dealing with a Libra, you may feel as if I am communicating this message to you. All right. So let's see what's going on in your love life, Libras. All right. What is your update? Thank you so much. What do we have for Libras? Lightning. Okay. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. All right. What do we have for Libras? What do we have for Libras here? Um, You could be changing your mind about someone. Not enough. This says frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. All right. And we also have coffin. Bring Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I feel like you're starting to get over somebody. You can still be with them. You can still live with them for some of you, but you really are starting to get over them. That's kind of been an energy uh, in the collective. I feel like there's somebody you're starting to change your mind about. Um, it feels as if this almost happened out of nowhere, but it's been happening over time. I think they did something. I think there's something that happened recently and you were just like, I don't know if this is for me. Um, I feel like you've gotten an epiphany about something that feels like it's leading to what's, uh, w w what you can consider a transformation in your feelings for this person. I don't think they do it for you anymore. What's this lightning? What's lightning for um, Libras? It's the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you got this epiphany at work. <laughs> A lot of you got this epiphany because you're dealing with somebody who all they do is say they work, right? And they don't spend time with you. Whatever it is, it feels like there's something about abundance, desiring more creating a better life for yourself and the place where you do that, that feels like it was, it was responsible for this epiphany you recently had about somebody. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of you want more than this person can give and you feel like you've been giving your all and they haven't been. Princess of Swords here. I think you're actually preparing to confront this person. Some of you have already spoke up. Some of you have already said what you had to say. Some of you have already said, I deserve better. I want better. If I'm putting in all this work and you're not, why are you here type energy? Um, Queen of Cups. I think you guys are dealing with somebody Um, I definitely feel like your feelings for them are changing. Even if you'll still love them, even if you'll still have some type of care for them, your feelings are changing. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Ace of Pentacles. I think you're starting to feel something for someone else or you're about to within the next week or the next month. What's this Ace of Pentacles? I got two. I got the Princess of Pentacles and the Swiftness. Some of you may connect to somebody you're working with, somebody that you make money with, um, somebody who could be younger than you, but they're a friend right now. That's, that's your clue. They're a friend right now. I think you've been venting to this person, talking to them. That's why the energy may be showing up that you got this epiphany at work. Somebody's helping you realize that with this judgment energy, something isn't right for you and something else could be because you change your mind fast eight of wands and a lot of you that were feeling like you were going to be with this person forever or they were your soulmate you really are calling into question what made you feel that way about somebody who feels like they don't put in a, enough effort for you not enough this says frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence you don't believe in this person anymore libra Knight of Wands, you could love the sex. You could feel like you guys really do have a great chemistry, sense of humor with each other, but there's something substance-wise lacking 
in this relationship. The physical is not going to be enough to keep you there. The the physical passion and chemistry is not going to be enough to keep you guys there. Sagittarius here, um, high priestess. And a lot of you are starting to close them off when it comes to, to intimacy. A lot of you are really starting to deny them because you feel like that's just not enough. Right. Um, I don't even want it. Like if they've called you for like a hookup or if they want to come over, a lot of you have ignored their calls recently. I, I, somebody here has ignored someone. Somebody here has gone. I'm not even responding to that, <laughs> especially if they're a Pisces or a Sagittarius. Um, you're like, I'm not even responding to that. Or uh, uh, we have cancer here, Aries and Leo. It's just not enough. And you can do better alone. Nine of Pentacles, right? A lot of you in this energy, I even pick up where you may, you would rather fantasize about this person and, and get pleasure in that way than actually see this person and give them your body, right? A lot of you, um, it feels like this person is not enough. You, you know, you would probably rather pleasure yourself. That's an interesting energy I'm getting, but this person is not doing it for you anymore. Um, you turn yourself on in this energy. What's the nine of pentacles, the hierophant? You're committed and devoted to yourself. You're loyal to yourself and your own spiritual ascension. This person is not going along on this journey with you, the tower. And you can feel the, the relationship breaking down, falling apart here. But you are remaining sort of strong and steadfast and, and full of conviction because you're refusing to let this person take you down. You have a Taurus here for some of you. Um, The King of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you see yourself with a different type of personality. And these combos have been coming out lately. The King of Cups and that King of Wands. Whether it's the King of Wands at the bottom and the King of Cups comes out. So that could be the en energy of who you're dealing with in the collective, right? Very attractive, sexy people. Um, and depending on, you know, the message of your reading, this, they're either taking it too far and, and, and too ego driven and feel like they can do, they can get anybody so they could do whatever they want to you or they're emotionally immature and unstable. So I do feel the energy of you guys feeling like you deserve better. Um, you have a knight of wands right now. You want somebody very similar to the person you like or the person you're dealing with, but more mature, more invested. So you can want a king of wands. Some of you want somebody rich, famous, powerful, but who still has a soft heart for you, king of cups. So that could be what you're manifesting because what you have is showing up literally as not enough for you. Coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition, yeah, you're definitely changing your mind, your feeling. Your feelings are changing about this person. <sighs> Seven of Wands, you don't want them around you. You're starting to be defensive with them. They're calling you, you're not answering, or you're, you know, asking questions that you know are going to just like really irk them. I feel that. Yep. Strength, Two of Wands, Princess of Wands. A lot of you are definitely like, getting over this person. You've even started talking to other people. You've started to accept other offers. You're starting to entertain people online, the lovers. Some of you have possibly gone out on a date or two recently during Gemini season, the lovers here. But I strongly feel like you are resisting this person, not giving them your time, your attention, your body. A lot of you are really focused on what's what's next. <laughs> That's where you are. Who am I going to meet next? Okay. Um, it feels like you do want somebody... It, it feels like you're clear about what you want. Like they have to be good looking. If I had to break down what you want right now, Libra, they have to be attractive, not just attractive to you, but you want somebody who other people will find attractive. You want somebody who other people are going to want. Like what's your, you got a tall order here. You want this person to be well known, maybe famous. You want this person to possibly be in shape and fit. You want this person to possibly be a bachelor or a bachelorette. Like you have a really tall order for what you want. What's this princess of wands? here i may um nine of swords yeah i think nobody's coming close to the ideal person that you want let me see what the king of wands is now but then but that's because your standards are really high <laughs> uh yeah two of cups that's who you want to give yourself to the king of wands energy 
somebody who is brave and well-dressed, sexy, just exuding passion, serious about what they do. You know, this is what you want. This is the only type of person you're going to deal with. And I think right now you feel like you're dealing with or you're running into people who come close, but they are not what you want. A lot of you, your standards are super high right now. And there's somebody here that you're connected to closer than others who's just not cutting it anymore. Your feelings for them are changing. All right, Libra, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if that resonated for you. And if you would like a personal reading, check out those details in the description box.